I need you to make sure. I need you to make sure that camera's on, okay? Because I want everybody within the sound of my voice to hear what I have to say right now. I know the show's supposed to be over right now, but um, I couldn't. I couldn't let it in. Not by doing this. And I just want to say, this isn't a storyline. This isn't a script. What I have to say is coming from my heart. And I've been needing to say this for a long, long time. I guess you could say what I'm about to do is a shoot. I have been involved in the CAW community for more than 12 years. Yeah, it's true. Um, before I started doing this little thing called the CAW Champions League, uh, I started out as a video producer. Um, I was just doing it as a hobby, making entrance videos for for a few guys I like in the business. And uh, I guess that's how I broke in. I somehow got good at it. And uh, a couple years later, I can tell you the exact dates. December 1st, 2009, I made a decision to start up CCL. Now, I, I will admit, I had a few advantages coming in. It was a little bit creative. I had the inspiration. I had the drive. And I thought, you know, that would be good enough. But uh, holy shit, I was wrong. Maybe because I wasn't that creative enough. Maybe because I didn't know the right people. Maybe because, maybe I really didn't know what I was doing. And, and maybe because people just wanted to see me fail. But it, it's those, it's that last part that's kept me going. Because one day I wanted to say I outlasted every one of my haters and critics. And a decade and a few great years later, uh, not only I did, I became a Hall of Famer. Not bad for a guy who wanted to get out of this business more than once. You know, like in the summer of 2010, after the whole CAW champion of champions debacle. I guess I'm a, I was ahead of my time looking back on it now. Um, or maybe in December 2012, when I actually planned to be done. Or, or maybe in 2013, after the world champion of my company walked out. Or maybe in the summer, 20, summer 2014, where I just hit a brick wall creatively and that's when a young man named Darius Wallace and I know you don't like me saying your name on the air necessarily but I'm going to anyway anyway he came to me and he said hey my, my startup company DCA it needs your help can you help me and um being a nice guy I am, I, I said yes. And what was supposed to be a one-shot deal was turned into a friendship that's uh, going on about six years, something like that. And when you know it, uh, we're doing a second show together this summer. And over time, I've trusted him to more aspects of my league than just about anyone else ever. Which is something I wouldn't have done a long time ago. Uh, and even then, there were still times I wanted to get out. Like in the spring of 2015, where I had to deal with moving over and over and over again. Or for most of 2016, when my world was falling apart. And then... I, I don't like really, I don't really like talking about this, to be honest. 
This was during my longest break ever from doing CCL. It was in February 2017. I can't even tell you the exact day. It was Super Bowl Sunday. It was 11.49 in the morning. I got that call. And most of you out here, you know what I mean when I say that call. The call you fear. The call you fear dreading. You, you dread. I got a call from my brother saying my mom passed away. And I, I saw her, like, literally, like, a, the, the day before. But, I guess that tragedy sort of was the kick in the ass I needed. You know, to really get going. And I know for a lot of you, this is the first time you're hearing this. I get it. I've never really been one to uh, bring up my personal life, but... There's been plenty, plenty of times in the last three and a half years I felt to the point I didn't want to carry on anymore. And, and I'm not saying this to you so you can feel sorry for me. God knows. No, absolutely not. Don't do that. I, I'm saying this because I need to open up to somebody. Maybe somebody's watching this and they're wondering, hey, Eddie, where are you going with this? Now, I'll tell you in a moment, I promise. Um, which I guess brings me to a year ago. When, uh, I actually wasn't, I actually wasn't standing in this swing a year ago. In fact, a year ago, this company didn't exist. Uh, as you know, it was snapped out of existence. And a few months later, uh, a few people risked, risked their lives not just to save mine, but to save all of Virtual Wrestling United. And, you know, I, I, I should have been happy when I came back, but like, like literally, the first thing I did was I got back in the booth. Because I, I loved it that much. I loved doing it that much. But over time, I guess what happened to me and what happened to my friends um, sort of started to cloud my mind. Because it felt like I was reliving one of the worst nights of my life over and over and over again. And it got to me. When I saw when I saw Carmen Cortez damn near die in that hell in the cell last August, it got to me. When this company was taken from me again, literally less than three months after it was reborn, it got to me. When I saw my friends, my my family, and, and I know I'm referring to some of these people as family, but to be honest, this. You guys really are the only family I got. That's why it hurt. Okay? That's why it hurt. And, and I took that hurt out on people that I shouldn't have. And for that... I want to say to all of you, to all of you that were hurt over my actions, over what I've said... Over the last six months, I want to say to all of you right here, right now, that I'm sorry. I, I should have been more grateful, but I'm doing it now. I'm being grateful now. 
and I'm, I'm saying to whoever's listening, whoever needs to hear this, okay, that, yes, I am grateful for what you have done, not just for me, but for this business, okay? I'm grateful for what you've done to, you know, make sure that I'm still doing this. So uh, to Darius, to Lucinda, to, to Carmen and Meredith, to, uh, to Champ, hey kid, Jason, uh, Rick, Adam, Ray, and Sean, everybody. To all of you who, and there's like a whole bunch of people I didn't name and I really don't want to take up all your time. To all those, to Jamal and to Laura, you too. <laughs> to um, to all of you, to all those people, I want to say I'm sorry. And I feel like this this is this is a new beginning for me. Okay, that grumpy old man is gone now. And I'm going to be, I'm going to be the light that this business needs. Maybe I won't be the brightest lights, but I will not be a dark light for another minute longer. And to whoever who is, whoever needs to hear this, be that light in somebody's life. Because let's be honest, we're all going through shit. that we don't let others know about. It's okay to talk to them. It's okay to talk to somebody. Get it out. Don't let it hold you back. Okay? Be that light. Be that change. And be that person you were meant to be. Because now I am. My name is Eddie Mac. I am the voice of CAW. I am a Call Stars Hall of Fame. And I am the light.
Huh? 